Hi guys, I'm Coco the Tick. You guys might know me from IG. And I'm here to tell you that I am a victim of abuse. It was February the 15th and I was in Port Antonio, Portland, which is my hometown. And a friend of mine invited me out to this club. She says it's a new club and she wanted me to check it out. So I just went there. And uh, when I was there, we was like partying for the whole night. And like in the last part, because this in incident happened about five o'clock, I went to check up on her because I was outside talking to a friend. And when I went inside to talk to her, I just feel something hit me in my neck. When I turn around and look, the ground is a cigarette box. Them wet it and slap me in my neck with it. So I turn around and I say to somebody, like, like why well, it hit me in my neck? And my friend said, what's the problem? And she start cussing and say, like, why not throw stuff and something? So I walk over there and I ask, who hit me in my neck? And a guy on the right start to flare up and fan me off. And the next one, upon the, the, the left, start flare up and fan me off. Same way. And them start come towards me like then they want to hit me. That this was upstairs. So Dancing Herb was actually booked for the, the party that night. She was there and she's a friend of mine too. And she come over and she grabbed me and my friend grabbed me and carried me outside. And them talk to me, I'm going go downstairs now. And when, when I was downstairs and I was like talking about what was happening up, upstairs, the boy them come downstairs and um, them start come towards me, one throw a buckle, one of them come towards me and say, hey girl, I kill me for kill you, you know, I kill me for kill you. And start like box me and people was holding him off and he was still coming towards me. Yes, I feel like I was being targeted. Why? Because, I mean, one of the guys that was involved in the incident, you know, he sent me a message on IG the night before telling me how I look nice because I went out the night before to have a drink at a spot and he saw me there. I, I mean, a guy came to me and said that somebody somewhere was sending, sending to call me and I, I, I don't know if it was him. So I don't know if that was the reason he was carrying some kind of feelings or what. But yes, I, I think I was target. I felt very shocked. I felt embarrassed and I, I, felt, I felt really bad. They called me whore. And they tell me, you say, they say, uh, like when people was backing them off, they was, they were saying, why, like, why you defending the same girl, and uh, you know, things like that. Like people were saying that, uh, they, like whoever was stopping them shouldn't stop because basically I sell, so it's okay to abuse me, right? That's was what they were saying. I was scared. I was uh, slapped up. Them keep me in my belly. Them throw a buckle, missing knife. I was scared. Well, I, 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 I didn't get bruises. That is, I get a scratch, but the bruise that I have is still here, here in my belly, and I can still feel it. It still hurt. All I would li like to say is that, I mean, you guys must have mothers and sisters, and. If you have kids, if you have a daughter, this is how you would like your daughter to be treated by men in public. This is, this is not how you would want them to be treated. What you guys did was wrong. It was very, very wrong. That, that was so wrong, like... <laughs> it's just motivation for me. Every, every, everything that happened to me is always motivation for me to push more. You know, now that this happened, I, I learn and, you know, I will just keep pushing and go harder. And I will never let something like this happen again.